advice. The opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. and welcome to our program yes politics today in this program uh, we're going to do something different normally I bring in resource people and we talk about current events or issues that are magnified basically by the media here is a product here is a show where I wish to magnify to the media in a different sense something that intelligent something relevant and something for all of us to understand exactly what I do on TV which is basically to help you analyze current events and public affair issues. What exactly are they? Well, let's see on a daily basis how our country survives, how we work with our country, how we help or be part of what we call nation building. Now, we have a lot of the editors that go all around town that come up with the big uh, broadsheets. Our guest is one of the editors that come up and analyze, help analyze all the different issues coming about. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean you're, what's the word, kiss ass, or you're anti or you're opposition. Either way, you, these people provide the different points of views for all of us to help understand exactly what's going on in our country, rather than what is being fed to us straight out by what we call mainstream media. We are going to promote the book. And before anything else, I'd like to show you that book and have the camera focus on this. This is called Power and Privilege, and this was just launched over a week ago. I'd like all of you to take a good look. Maybe we can have the camera zoom in. Our guest, obviously, nobody else but the author, Dr. René Azurin. I beg of you to go out, find out more about it. It's available in the national bookstores and the bigger bookshops. And if you don't know, you can call us here in the studio or directly to Dr. René Azurin. Magandang gabi po, Dr. Marami salamat. You're here again. I'm sorry, but no I, asked, I asked that you be here so we can help launch your book because as usual, your, your write-ups are very intriguing and mind-blowing, if that's the right word to say. <laughs> Tell us about your book. Uh, uh, just a correction first. I'm not an editor. Harry. But you I'm write a, for... I'm a columnist. A columnist. I'm, I'm sorry. Ano ba na iba sa dalawa? Help me understand that. Well, the editors are the one who put the paper together. No. And who but an editor can be a columnist. He could be, he could be. Uh, yeah. But, but, but a columnist... It's not necessarily an editor. An editor. Or it's not usually. It's so not column usually. contribution. Yeah, you, you just you just Points write. of views yeah. that are it's contributed. An, it's an opinion piece. No? It's an opinion piece. You're asked to write an opinion piece on mm. Correct whatever your particular topic is. Mali ang description ko editor. Tell us yeah. about your book, Doctor. Well, this is a... Essentially, this is a collection of essays that... Uh, cover a uh, wide range of topics basically from politics and economics to management and morality you know? mm. and uh, in the columns I write for Business World which is the paper I write for um, I try to provide the reader with a broader more deeply analytical point of view you know? Mm. And I do this essentially, or at least I try to do this, by bringing to bear elements of uh, history, political theory, economic theory, philosophy, psychology. So you're not just talking off the top, you're basing yeah. it on learned issues. Well, bringing these things to bear on topics of the day, no? mm. uh, uh, or topics that should, uh, that should um, concern mm. the public or should invite the public consciousness. No? So uh, th this is what I try to do. No? So uh, uh, essentially, uh, uh, the, the the pieces I think are not so much as um, tackling specific issues, but but trying to um, broaden the perspective. No? My, since my column is strategic perspective mm. of the reader to encompass. Um, the economy at large, you know, uh, society in general. Or the politics at yeah. that be. And, um, uh, and you time, are from time, not just the press. Uh, can we say you're from the academe? Because you <coughs> do teach, you also teach. Yeah, I've... Uh, You've always wanted to teach and you continue to teach. Until um, 
this year I'm not. No, but, oh, you're going to take a but, break. But, but I've been teaching for what uh, more than a dozen years now. Yes, yes. so yeah. you're basically part of the academy. We can yes. say you're part of the academy, yeah. Ms. Kipapano. Yeah. Now, would you say the book Power and Privilege is um, opposition? Or are you satirically, or is <coughs> it a point of view you're pointing out? basically of the Filipino habits of the politics that are, or the economy, e the economics that we are undergoing? Uh, I think opposition is not exactly the word because basically I'm opposed to, to anything which uh, is not in the public interest, at least as far as the, the column mm, is concerned. Okay. Uh, I think the, the um, well, no. a recurring theme uh -huh. of, of by my, my writings, uh, that the problems of the country today, you know, stem as You are critical. Yes. You're, you, you provide critical thinking. Yes. Basically yes. on all, not necessarily for or, no, you are against a lot of things by pointing out, <clears throat> not necessarily by sarcasm, but it's actually very straight to the point in why mm. you think there is something wrong in specific issues be it the basis, the plagiarism, or whatever, whatever sure. issues come up. Sure. So <clears throat> you provide critical thinking. Yes. You are not necessarily... I try to. I try to, yes. Uh, you're, you are not promoting to people go out in the streets and say, hey, or you yourself being, I am opposition. But then again, when you were with the Constitutional Commission mm -hmm. during the charter change issue some two years mm -hmm. ago, you, were, you, you went center stage and you actually went out and said, hey, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. And you made your points very valid. Considering yes. you came from that very same commission that was promoting that 50 versus 5, you're one of the five that went against yeah. it. And I, I actually wrote the dissenting report. No? You the actually wrote the dissenting of report, yes. Yeah. So in this yes. book, can we expect <coughs> a lot of that? Yes, and uh, um, as, as I was saying earlier, I think if you uh, if you've followed my columns, or you the essential recurring theme, no? the underlying theme that uh, that uh, that these are based on, is that the problems of this country, from its birth, no? have essentially been caused and are being caused by the the concentration of power and the wielding it by a privileged few. No? And essentially, uh, uh, well, I'm a I'm a passionate advocate for dispersed power, no? and. Uh, Interesting, open that was your position also in the dissenting opinion on the Constitutional Commission. Op open markets and small government. No? And essentially, the reason is that I, I believe that uh, concentrated power, if unchecked, no? if, if unrestrained... Which it is. Uh, well... <laughs> oh, that's a point yeah. of view again. There you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, is bad for any society because this, the lopsided distribution of power causes uneven societal outcomes. No? Uh, those who have power use it for their, personal. invaluably use it mm. for their personal interests or for the interests of their particular interest group. No? And, uh, and uh, essentially uh, private interests are promoted and mm. public interests are subverted. No? Yes, yes. So there is a necessity, uh, in fact I argue that the overriding object of social action should be the creation of competing different centers of power within a society so that so that uh, concentrated power particular particularly mighty government no, which has a monopoly on the coercive power of the state right can be balanced by other competing centers now wh whether these th these these centers are media the judiciary uh, uh. organized citizens groups so it, it, uh, everyone's checked in balance to there, provide yeah, some type there, there of is competition it, for the better of the consumer or the people Yes, some sort of restraint or constraint, mm. no? so that uh, people with power cannot uh, unbridledly use it for whatever they want. No? Mm. There, there, there is uh, you'd like to you'd like to build up competing centers of power. No? Can you say that's democracy? <laughs> Basically, you're, you're promoting so, yes. putting in center stage yes. the real meaning or <coughs> an intricate meaning of democracy. Yes, uh, essentially because. Uh, uh, even if you have democracy, one person, one vote, no? uh, will of the majority and all that, if power, the distribution of power is lopsided, the citizen, you and yes. me, no? yes. by ourselves, have no, have no power and we have no say in 
in oh gee it's exactly what's <laughs> happening today but but let's carry on <laughs> no but based, yeah. so you promote solutions as well oh yes yes based yes, on yes. theories learned theories uh, <clears throat> ed educated theories not just assumptions they, and exactly. you, you bring back history and you bring them points of views. Mm -hmm. it's interesting on your first chapter, uh, on the privilege and predatory power, he starts out by saying, Hindi mo ba kilala? Gee, wasn't that Freddie Webb who's saying that in Paranaque? Uh, wasn't that in the Paranaque outpost, the security guard in Paranaque when he was going in during the height of the web issues after all we are talking about web going free no but in general <laughs> this is so typical of the pinoy in power mm -hmm. in fact it's not necessarily those in power those who this is very pinoy mm -hmm. are you depicting uh, the filipino basically in all our ills because this is an ill this, this is kamali mm -hmm. kultura na natin to eh. mm -hmm. but yet you offer a solution are the solutions possible plausible Yes, the solutions are basically are um, uh, the building up of institutions which can create as counterweights to Naku, the morals abuse and of power. values, institutions. But, but also institutions, no? institutions. For example, if you had a working judiciary, no? uh, an effective judiciary, you know, uh, people who commit crimes do not go unpunished. No? And that's one... We, that's but we, they don't go unpunished. We take 20 years, if not 50 years, to resolve a case. <laughs> <laughs> we very successfully take, what, 50 years, <laughs> di ba? Pagpatay na, do natin husgang. <laughs> Again, I'm being uh, sarcastic, but please go yeah. on. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, as, as long as there are, it cannot be avoided that some people will, will try to abuse whatever power they have, no? Whether mm. it's the, it's the policeman collect, collecting tong or the politician uh, collecting pork barrel. It's the same thing. It's, it's the same, same thing, thing, yeah. But, Essentially, if, if, if the institutions of society were such that this could be restrained, no? either by, by uh, uh, removing the occasion mm -mm. or punishing them for violation yes, or, or yes. some sort, or uh, shaming them in public for whatever, no? then, uh, then the, this, this would be at least contained no? and, and reduced and minimized. Mm -mm. So... Uh, it would be idealistic to think that people will change simply because they are morally driven or they receive a message from God. That when you say institutions, going back to that, um, people are going to change. We have to protect the institutions that we live by because after all, we're supposed to be a civil society, yes. a civilized <coughs> society. Mm -hmm. But the very institutions, when they're ruined, doesn't that go back to the moral values of its people? That means us. Uh, when is th if the real issue then is the people, not necessarily just the institutions, or you explain the difference between the people and the institutions, or both? Well, <coughs> uh, I, I think they're, they're both, no? because uh, um, T typically, and this is true in our society today. No? Incidentally, this is not only true of our society, but uh, mm -hmm. but but uh, but uh, it is true of our society today that uh, the structure of incentives no? are such that it pays the politician to be corrupt. Yes, <laughs> you explained that to me in one of our shows. Yes, in so, one of your columns actually, because I follow your yeah. column regularly. So. Uh, so people go into politics for economic reasons, no? yeah. and then that's that, why we that, have the elections. Yeah, and that, that you invest in it, and you got to get your money back. Uh -huh. The people <coughs> get money from you, and then when you're in power, you get it back. <laughs> Ganun lang naman yun eh. yeah. <coughs> so uh, you need to correct this this particular system of incentives. No? Now that's not so easy because, if, no. for example, if you if you needed to pass certain laws, no. Mm then uh, you need the politicians to pass the laws. No? And of course, they have no incentive to do so. No? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't have today, yeah, you, don't, yeah, you yeah. don't have up to today, you don't have an anti-dynasty, an mm -hmm. effective anti-dynasty law. So that, that's a problem. No? And this is where the concerted action of citizens no? banding together to, to mm -hmm. promote a certain advocacy no? to uh, make, make, can, can make a difference. No? Or institutions like the judiciary, if, for some reason, you could mm -hmm. uh, prevail on 
on um, not only judiciary but the law enforcement officials mm. to to do their job then you you, you can you can you can uh, uh, try to 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 control this no? but but essentially ultimately I think it goes down to citizens you and me acting together to to rail against or to fight against mm. something that Social goes ills. against goes against the grain no? mm -hmm. something that is but sometimes something so blatantly obvious <coughs> simple in its presentation and yet blatantly abused or yeah uh, malfunctioning in society which is like in ours alam natin yung mali and yet we continue to do it basically like the yeah. elections would you call yourself term yourself a cynic or being cynical with your writings and what you promote <coughs> what you're trying to convey can you say that well now? would you say that um, I have become very cynical over the years. <laughs> I have to admit, Tari, mainly because uh, I hope you don't mind the things, question. Things don't appear to be changing, or if they're changing, they appear to be changing for the worse. No, and uh, it's very difficult. Although I, truthfully, I try to be. You know, to try, it's very difficult to be optimistic or to be hopeful about where this country is going. But you continue to provide solutions. You're not just being cynical oh, yeah, and yeah, saying yeah, yeah, with your sure. hands up in the air with your fists, fists clenched. Yeah. You are providing solutions. You're still <coughs> optimistic that there are solutions available if only we would open our eyes and ears to go in that specific direction. Yes, and <coughs> I, 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 have, uh, I have some confidence that the Philippines will change and will get better. Uh, I just don't know whether it's going to Talking be in my lifetime. <laughs> okay. Talking about that. I noticed you dedicated the book to Edna, your mom. Oh, yes, 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 I did. Why your mom? Why not your kids, not your wife? She's been uh, a pillar of <clears throat> uh, influence. Well, uh, she taught me many things. She was, she, in addition to teaching me math, huh, which, uh, mm. um, she taught me many things of, uh, what I call absolute value, like value of family, the value of integrity. You know, you know so and, and so, and today she's 86 years old. No? She, she's quite uh, strong, your mom. Yeah, she, she continues to work in public service. Well, she, she was a public servant all yes. her life. No? But even today, 21 years after her retirement, she continues to work in public, uh, so public service, not like setting up uh, free kindergartens for indigent children in, in, mm. in poor communities. Uh, uh, she's chairman of the Quezon City Red Cross, mm. uh, etc. Mm. So, uh, I, I cannot help but have profound admiration for her because uh, to, 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 be, to be truthful, uh, I'm not like that. I mean, I, I'm <laughs> mm. I have not difficult. done, I have not done or I have not, I cannot even dream to be doing what she has been doing all her life, no? so, uh, so, I think this is what the Filipino citizen should be, no? and uh, so, well, this is why I dedicate the book for her, to her. No? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'll show you the book one more time. I'd like the camera to zoom in one more time. Okay, it's Power and Privilege by Rene Azurin. Rene, where can we get this book? It's available at the national bookstores. All right, so that's big enough. Uh, also, that's one. Power Books. No? Power Books, good. Yeah. If you can't find it in the shelf, just ask customer service. Customer service, okay. Yeah. Rene, who should buy this book? Who should read this book? I think anybody who would like to have... Students, uh, for example, sure, yeah. to help them. Yeah, any, Businessmen, any, as well yeah. as politicians. <coughs> should any, they read it and why any, should they Anyone who has an interest in the future of this nation, who has an interest in, in, in expanding his perspective about what's what what ills uh, or what's wrong with this nation and how uh, and the direction towards which we should be moving and how we should correct this so anyone interested in these public issues um, i think we'll find the book interesting well there you are ladies and gentlemen so one more time power and privilege i took the time out here in gnn we in gnn took the time out to bring to you something very important to help you analyze help you understand all the issues ongoing Rene also writes for the business world. What day is that, Rene? Every, every Thursday. Every Thursday at the business world. Catch his columns, and you can also catch it on the internet. You can get it in the net, can't you? Business world is available. On the business internet. world. Yeah. You can get the soft copy as well. So there you are. Stay with us. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to bring you something <coughs> else. Marami salamat po. Rene, thank you very much. Thank you, Harry. Always a pleasure.
Pakistan now for the second half of this program. We are going to continue to promote basically uh, literary work. In the first case, in the first part, you heard Rene Azurin's book, Power and Privilege. Now going that same line, this time I'm going to introduce to you a newspaper that's hit the streets and making what you call a hell of a rage, if that be the right way to put it. The newspaper is Opinion. It's been up four and a half months. There's been 18 issues. It comes out every week. With us, we have, no, um, we have the publisher, Mr. Ray Cunha, and one of the columnists. Oh my gosh, you know this character. His name's Lingoy Alquas. Hello, gentlemen. Thank you very much for being on this program. Let's go straight <coughs> to it. Here is a copy of this is today's release of Opinion. Maybe we can ask the camera to zoom in. There we go. All right, you'll see it right there. Um, you can also catch the website. There's a website on this. Yeah. Uh, what's the website of this, Ray? Um, I, uh, I don't have www.opinion.com.ph Opinion.com.ph It's quite easy to understand. Tell us about the paper, Ray. Well, uh, right now it's doing fine. We're getting good uh, reviews from many sources. Mm. And uh, we're glad uh, we're, 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 we're being recognized as, as, as the only opinion paper in the country now. Literally, pag sinamin opinion, hindi ito, hindi ito news bearing, uh, ito nangyayari, current events, straight editorial. So in other words, you want analysis of what's going on in current events and public affairs, you pick up an opinion. Now, before we go into the paper, where do we get it? How do we get it? We, For those who are watching, they can understand. We are at Power Books and uh, uh, Fully Booked. Power Books and Fully Book. Pwede yeah. na kunin doon. Yeah, they can. They can. Uh, and it comes out every week, every Monday, ang, ang uh, publication. Paglaman. Yeah, yeah. Can we they get mistakes. old copies as well? Archived copies? Kanya rin, hindi pa na umpisa. Only, Gusto on, nila kunan. Kunin. Only at the office. Ah, only at okay. The office. If you get hold of one newspaper when you go to Power Books and or Fully Booked, you will notice all the information will be there together with the contact telephone numbers, the web page, which already tells you exactly where or how to get more or the archived copies that have already been printed because this is what you call current event. Ano itong jari po nito? Opposition ba ito? Ito ba yung bago opposition? Ito ba yung bago sip-sip naman sa administration? No, just very quick. I hope you don't mind. Maybe we can ask uh, Lingoy to answer that question. Mas bagay sa kanya eh. Oo nga eh. Di ba? Mas bagay sa kanya eh. Uh, Mr. Alquas, ito ba opposition? Ikaw ba opposition? Ano ba ang jari po nito? Ganito po. Nung ako po ay... Uh nanyayahan ni Ray sumulat dito. Uh, pinaliwanag niya na yung editor-in-chief was uh, Ike Senyeres. So, I suppose he was the publisher. Sa pakiramdam ko, parang may balance itong diaryo. Mm -hmm. In the sense na merong... Dahil si, si Ike, eh, what do you call? He was uh, close to Vice President Binay. Therefore, mm -hmm. administration. Diba? Okay. Ngayon, si Ray naman, Hindi ko alam kung exactly where he was, but yung kapatid niya, si Butch, alam ko kung nasaan. So, basically, mm -hmm. okay, ngayon. Yung pala, nung, nung unang tingin ko sa, sa printed copy ng diaryo, merong mga kolumnista, kagaya ni dating senatorial candidate, Neric Acosta. Oh, si Neric nga, nasusulat din dito. Oh. Oh. Yung pala, nandun rin si Margie Wico, oh, chairman si Wico, ng PCS. Oh, no? okay. So, administration yan. Si Kamentong Laurel joined us. No? Okay. Yeah. All the while, nandun ako. Pero ako naman, balimbing. Kasi ang title ng column ko, Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow. So, yes. kahapon ng position ka, today, okay ka, tomorrow, what will you be? Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> Ganito yun. Pan uh, I'm sorry. Then, Ladies and I'm only uh, pun intended because I'm just being sarcastic uh -huh. to Lingoy because Lingoy really goes out and promotes exactly what he believes and there's no holds barred. You can't buy him. You can't push him into a corner. He will say it as he sees it. And that's what you get. Correct me if I'm yeah, wrong. Get it on. Ah, when I didn't want to be pushed into the corner of talking about the inconvenient truth, mm -mm. then I go back into history. Yun ang so-called beating around the bush. And you can beat around the bush up to how many millennia? No? Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> that way, by the time na I get to the un inconvenient uh, truth, yung pala yung audience ko napagod na umuwi na. Okay? However, someday you have to talk about today. And that, that day came for me because of August 23. Yung pinaka, uh, ang tawag doon eh, grandma, grandmother of all kapalpakan. So, uh. Okay, ngayon. So, and then, ako naman, I double in... Uh, so you're saying ko? before August 23, mm -hmm. you were pro-noy-noy. 
And then you turned after August 23. Well, before August 23, the best thing I could do for Noy Noy was to... Keep quiet. <laughs> no wonder you were quiet for some time. Uh, pag sinabi sa akin sa kapiyan, Dingoy, ba't ka tahimik? Ba't ka naantok? Kasi may bungi ako eh. Ah, okay. Pag may bungi ka, mahirap magsalita eh. Ah, so Pero excuse lang yun. Dahil ah, nandito sa bulsa ko yung postiso ko. Okay. <laughs> Kasi galing ako sa sa isang uh, kainan. So, tinanggal ko. Okay, anyway. Ah. Going back to tomorrow. Ah. Okay. Ako naman, hindi naman ako professional manghuhula. Hindi naman ako, you know, anointed prophet. Pero kumisan, nakaka, alam mo na, nakaka-score. Kagaya nung December 1, 89 ko, yun eh, supposedly, na-predict ko. No? Mm. Okay. So, once in a while, meron akong advanced uh, analysis mangyari. Gusto ko rin mag, ano, yung maging kilalang manghuhula na naman na nag-score. Dahil ang manghuhula, ma mahula ka na isang tama, maniniwala ka na mahusay. Ito ba, Ray? Nang, nakakahula ba tayo sa opinion? Alam ko, meron po. Eh. Let's hear Ray's point of view. Because <laughs> yung sa Cebu Pacific, just recently, you know? Yeah, just a few days before uh, lumabas yung issue na uh, going down yung stocks na sa IPO ng Cebu Pacific, we predicted that already, about five days before that, na may problem yung, uh, yung IPO ng Cebu Pacific, mm. hindi nagpipick up. And the uh, people, uh, investors could possibly get burned. And, and true uh, enough. True enough, it happened. And it's in the papers in the last few days. Who should read it? And what can they expect when they're reading opinion, Ray? Ah, Lingo. Yeah. Who should read opinion? Well, I think uh, because it's in English, no? Instead of, mostly, no? English. Yeah. Right? Instead of having the, you know, the real pyramid of society, yung pyramid na yun, eh, kwan, medyo liliit yung base, uh, medyo babalge yung itaas. No? So, in, in, in other words, in socio-economic strata, we go up a little. Now, as I said in my column... But the leaders come from the higher socio-economic yes, class, no. strata as I, anyway. As I said it's called my, the learned class. Yeah, as I said in my column, while other papers say, as we hit the streets, we, would, we should say, as we hit the kapihans, the coffee shops, the bookstores. So, mm-hmm. nandun, nandun tayo sa ganun. Mm-hmm. Okay, ngayon, <coughs> I think that, uh, by the way, uh, I just want to make a point, no? Uh-huh. Ako kasi yung pinaka-industrious na messenger ng opinion. So, yung complimentary copies, akong nagdi-distribute okay. sa mga kapihan, eh, ganito ang nahalat ako. Nung una, let's say, issue 1 to 5, no? Uh-huh. Pag tinanggap yung complimentary copy, aba may utang na loob pa ako doon sa tumatanggap? Baliktad. Baliktad. Ngayon, nung 6... Kasi tinutulungan kayo. Parang gano'n oh, naman, gano'n naman, naman birthing the, pains yan. At least hindi pains. ako napapahiya. Oh, okay. birthing pains. Nung dumating na doon sa 6 to 10, aba, baliktad na. No? Ikaw yung nahanap. Pag ang tagal mo, baka mukhang hindi oh, ka darating. Pag late gano'n. ako sa kapihan, ninenervyos na. Okay, ngayon. <laughs> Pagdating nung 11 to 15, ganito po eh. Kasi ako, nagko-collect, malaki po yung bahay ko, malaki yung van ko, oh. ako po yung kolektor ng basura. Okay? So, <laughs> So, lahat Don't nung, you just love his candid, si, being can, di ba candid na candid kaya? Alam mo, sige. nung 1997, yung campaign ni Gloria. Pag tapos nung 98 campaign, nanalo ng bise, sinaray headquarters, lahat nung lumang kalendaryo niya, inuwi ko. Bala ko, ano, ibenta sa 204. Para yung gusto, man, yung gusto magpakita na original silang campaign at Gloria. Ba, meron silang 1998 kalendar, hindi 204. <laughs> yun lang, inanay. Inanay. Ah, inanay. Okay, inanay. Anyway, ganito. <laughs> yung 11 to 15. This is not a comedy show, ladies and gentlemen. Just, I mean, let's get that very clear. This is not for entertainment. This is for analytical purposes to help us all understand exactly where our country is. Okay. Ngayon, okay. Ga- ngayon ganito. Dahil meron akong koleksyon ng luma, pag merong VIP sa, ano ba, guest ng kapihan, uh-huh. no? hindi yung ordinary media, yung guest, no? Kukuha ko sa auto ko ng lumang kopya, bubuin ko ng ano, backupies. Depende how super VIP siya. Pag super VIP, up to ano, issue number one. Pag yung medium, nga up to, depende kung alin yung maraming stock ako. Okay. Anyway, pagbigay ko ng ganun, aba nagre-reklamo yung iba? Ba't wala ako niyan? Eh, kakuluma na ito. Hindi, gusto ko yan. So, in short, sa market ko, they look at it as a magazine, not, not a weekly newspaper. No? Kasi a weekly newspaper, parang pumapaso rin eh. Pero yung magazine, mas mabagal pumaso. Okay. Anyway, nung ano na, 16, 17, 18 copy, nagnanakawan na. 
Alimbawa, no, nung Sabado, Christmas party. Inuuna, inuunahan eh. Hindi. Inukuha na. Inuunahan ko na. <laughs> Ganito eh. Sulo Hotel. Ah, Kapihan sa Sulo. Christmas party. Di? Alam mo, pag Christmas party, lalo na may raffle. Ah, siyempre. Eh, yung, open, open yung 20, to, 20 to 30 na media, nagiging double, triple. Kaya yung complimentary copy na ninakaw ko kay Ray, ah. instead of 200, naging 300 last week. Naubos pa. Okay, anyway, ganito. Dami nun, ha? Nakita ko yung kaibigan ko sa Karambola. Hindi bawal banggitin dito. Oh, si, si Alvin o si... Hindi, si yung medyo junior. Si Jonathan. Si Eddie Javier. Ah, Javier, Eddie Kasi, Javier. Kasi, alam mo, pag si Jonathan, binigyan mo na ano, hindi niya alam kung toilet paper o diary yun. <laughs> 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 eh, bakit si Eddie Pierre? Ba't pumapayag si Eddie? Hindi, saka ganito eh. Alam mo si Jonathan... I, I listen to that show every morning. Uh, alam mo si Jonathan, sa kapihan ha, eh namatay na si, alam mo, si Julius Fortuna. Is already the late junior, Julius Fortuna. Namatay na. Hmm. Si Jonathan De La Cruz is the late Jonathan De La Cruz dahil palaging late. <laughs> <laughs> Pero boy pa. Hindi <laughs> oh, ganito eh. Eh nauubos ang kopya, linagyan ko yung, yung lugar ng moderator. Hmm? Tapos, nag-compile ako kay Ed Javier ko binigay. Dahil pag si Jonathan, sayang lang eh. Baka maiwan ngayon. Eh, Maging toilet paper. <laughs> pag si Jonathan. <laughs> si, si, si Ed Javier was at the end of the presidential table. Yung you. Uh, Di nandyan siya. Buti na lang dito ako nakaupo sa nearest round table. Aba, once in a while, merong lalapit kukuha. Kumukuha. Kaya, wag mo. Iwan mo muna dyan. Iwan mo muna dyan. Ah, tama yan. <laughs> Archive siya. Eh, may darating na bago. Hindi niya alam na archives. Kuha na po. Kakuluma yan. Huwag naman. What does this mean? The only opinion newspaper, that's what it says. Okay. And then, <coughs> we take a stand with a capital A on a stand. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? Uh, the, the, it's, it's the materials eh. Oh, it's sige. the info there. No? Like, uh, as we said, it's an opinion paper. So, uh, when we say we take a stand, we write our stories. <coughs> These are all opinionated stories. May disclaimer the, yan, in other words. Naka-disclaimer. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kanya-kanyang yeah. points of view. Kanya yes, exactly. And uh, it's uh, parang editorial ang treatment yan. It's, mm. even, if it's, if, even if it's not a column, even if it's supposed to be a news, we call it opinionated news dahil it carries the opinion of the writer. So of biased writer. positions, yes. taking a specific stand, it may not be for your stand or your belief, it may be pro or anti any situation. So oh, yes. we can't say it's really a dissenting newspaper or uh, opposition. What it does is it takes different position, issues, issue lang, issue, issue, based. issue, issue, lang. issue, Hindi, issue, 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 And this is how it is done. Like on a Wednesday, we call for a editorial meeting. All right. That is where the, the, the editorial direction is defined. On a particular situation, ano ang stand natin. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, the stuff goes on a research. So, ginagada niyan. Then, the story development is done by Friday. Mm -hmm. Sara ang jario by Friday, and it's in the press uh, weekend, mm -hmm. nasa streets ng, ng Monday. Why, Lunes, uh, why, why is this so? Dahil, mahirap naman yung there is no, no research. We, we take, the paper takes a position, it should be based on objective uh, facts mm. and and uh, we, we should have some some uh, resource persons to mm. talk to. So your editorial is basically based on research and study and then you take a common stand. Yes. But you let the other columnists provide their own yes. different points of views. Pero may disclaimer yan. Oh, yes. And because nakakatuwa, no? Pag sinabi mo position paper and yet you have one, two or three people that are basically identified with the administration, you really can't say that this is a pirate ship. Hindi pwede. It's got to be both sides. That's yeah. what you offer to everybody. Yes, yes. Who yes. should read this? Oh, like from from our subscriptions, we are getting subscription from the academ, uh, mainly uh, from the uh, business community. In fact, even foreign groups. Business community, huh? From the business community. Foreign groups. Oh my gosh, mawi WikiLeaks to. Parang ganon ang dating yun eh. Di di ba ganon mga yari yun eh? So basically, people who care, people who are body politic, people who are studying, who make research. Yeah, yeah. So, hindi pa yadis gago, hindi pa yadis stupid to. Period. Hindi entertainment to, hindi channel two, hindi channel seven to, hindi channel five to. But we have an entertainment page there. Ah, okay. So it opens up to other. That's what I was trying to make you read. There is an entertainment page. It's it's actually a take from Ben Cervantes, one of the respected guys in 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 that sector. Uh, ano rin, ang, ang... Satirical naman ang approach ni Ben Demitzan, uh, eh. <laughs> ang ano dyan is, 
intelligent treatment from from that from that world. Uh -oh. We also have Margie Holmes here, if you all remember her. She's got a column right there uh, with uh, Jeremy Bear. Yeah, Bayer, yeah. right? Bayer. Bayer. And Margie Holmes, let me see. She was that very bombastic, uh, let's see, sex therapy, sex program, <laughs> right? Yes, yes. Because yes. of her, um, her, her delivery, uh, she became quite popular some time ago. So, mm -hmm. iba, iba, ladies and gentlemen, I do write a column in this paper. They do allow my writing, so believe it or not, it's my first time I'm handing it out. It's right there. I've got my pretty picture right there. It's in black and white. So, there you go. As the camera. Okay, I'm looking at the camera. It's zooming in. So, there you are. Besides, is the Ask Us and super branding in this specific issue only. Because I do write about other things, not just that. Mm -hmm. How is the paper going? You are very happy. Uh, with the way the paper is moving yeah, now. What do you yeah, expect? Yeah. What do you see for 2011? Now, we are, we are basically print, but by 2011, we'd like to reach out for a wider readership and audience, so we're going radio. Wow. From print, talaga you're going all out with basically the word opinion. Yes, it's yes, not yes. just going to be a newspaper business. It's yeah. an advocacy towards information analysis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. do you think we're going, Lingo, in 2011? Well, I was telling him that uh, no, the difference between TV and radio. In radio, alam mo yung mga anchor who, <coughs> let's say, who want to favor a candidate during campaigns. No? They keep on saying, ah, uh, Senator. Uh, no, Senator X, Senator X, mm. to advertise the name. Ngayon, pag sa TV, you don't have to say it kasi nandun sa likod. Global News Center, opinion. Nakababad. Oh, nakatawag, nakatawag na nakababad. Mm. Well, ito naman. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get the newspaper and you're having a hard time, let's say it one more time so everybody gets it. <coughs> That's the World Wide Web or www. Opinion is spelled with a Y and .com.ph. Now, um, you can get the telephone numbers from that website. Should you not get it now? Right now, it's on in Manila. It's not national, to. We have we have already some contact with Cebu and Davao. All right. We will be initiating distribution in those areas by next month. Oh, okay. Wow, that's quick, huh? Mm -hmm. You're on birthing pains, mom. Belisa, uh, four and a half months, five and a half months. You're gonna go national. But if you can't get it, like I said, go to the web pages and at least pick up your soft copy. And then be in the know on exactly the marketing side and the expanse of the newspaper as it goes along. This is not opinionated in the sense that it's one side. It's not critical of government. It's critical of issues. I have to keep saying that. Eh, para hindi yeah. sumabog. And it's an all-rounded uh, editorial. Is that correct? We've, we've, we've been accused of uh, being an opposition paper. Yeah, that's what I wanted to hear. Do you want to say uh, it came from you? <laughs> I'd, I'd like to clarify that. No less than no, no, one, Pinoy okay. himself. Yeah, yeah. We are not an opposition paper. Mm -hmm. We are an independent, hard-hitting paper. We, we, we put our thoughts into what we see. And uh, people could get guided us in the manner that we were guided in arriving at, at our stand. Okay. Mm. And we got we put in all the inputs. Kinorek mo. Yes. Ano na iba nito sa mainstream broadsheets ng mga diaryo? The mainstream paper is actually ito yung objective reporting, yung they 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 this is actually twisting yung ano yung 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 uh, principles in journalism on on, on this papering na mm. na kailangan objective ka lang, you write the black what you see, black and white you write. Mm. Ganun lang. But, but we, 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 we all know that even the presentation of the mainstream newspapers, other than the bulletin, they're being biased one way or the other. Yes, they, yes. Do take, they do take sides, but <laughs> simply, lang, kunwari, objective. Ito, maliwanag. Ito ang position namin. Yes, I was about to say that. Ah, sige, okay. sige, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, that's supposed to be dapat sa mga newspapers, the mainstream. But then, you can, see, you can notice it now. Eh. There, there are actually, these are already actually opinionated stories coming out. <laughs> Okay. Kaya lang, they hide from being saying, ano kami, jour journalists kami. Na ano. In the case of opinion, we're not hiding that. We're saying, we are really an opinionated paper. And we take a stand, bahala na kayo. If you, fa if you ano. But you can take your own stand. That's why we gather different uh, personalities and experts. So they can, one thing they're saying, maganda daw ang information sa loob. Yung mga uh, columnists daw, they, they put in uh, they, before they, they, they come up with their conclusions, mayroon, mayroon mga inputs na nagiging premise. May input, tsaka may varied points of view, sir. Uh, yes, yes. So, that is what I also, I, I request the columnists do, the opinion mm. writers do. 
uh, as much possible, avoid lang yung personalities, yung issue uh, lang. Issue, issue, we, based, issue, issue based. We take we take on it. But if you also notice, hindi naman lahat yan political. Hmm. We, in fact, our direction is we politicize the, the, the editorial policies. We politicize economic issues and we provide political perspective, uh, uh, economic perspective of political business, issues. Of, of business uh, issues. No, no, good yeah, point. That's, that's, that's uh, how we are guided in our, in our choice of stories. Those are, uh, because uh, there are lots of things happening. We cannot carry everything there. We, we choose on something that, that we know is not commonly tackled. And uh, everybody would be interested to know the, the story behind the story. The story behind the story. The story behind the story. Uh, we've got a little less than three minutes, so your message to our viewers. Let's start with Lingoy Alquas, one of the columnists on opinion. Lingoy? Well, <coughs> let's ask the camera to look in. We have all the different issues right here, while uh, the other camera can look at Lingoy as you give your exit Well, message. if you note, know, okay. uh, we quote uh, Pinoy here. Pinoy slams, small newspaper. Yeah, yes. that's what I read, I remember. Oh. <laughs> However, what Pinoy said in here is, what he meant was, maliit lang yung circulation. Ang mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yung pinag yung kung sino yung target ni Pinoy dito, namin at saka yung isang diaryo. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, kung small, kami lang small. Pero kung ano, maliit ang circulation, sila na yun. Kasi kami, lumalaki na yung circulation. Very <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, our publisher, mm -hmm. Ray Hunya, your message to our viewers. Yeah, uh, I'm glad I'm here and Kasam uh, Kusi Lingo and uh, he'd, he'd always been actually the person behind uh, pushing the paper sa uh, correct parties, okay? Because uh, at my end, I was handing the editorial side, get content, uh, I, I, I'd been attending to the content first. and uh, Sa marketing, siya, he, he handled pushing it in the, and uh, we, we, I'm very glad na I were given the chance to be around and explain what opinion is. And uh, what I can assure you is we will stick to our policies, to our... We, we, are, we are not beholden to any except for what we believe is, uh, should, be, should be on the current issues. No, no personalities, walang personalan. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, the newspaper's opinion. We'll ask the camera to look down, so if you need to get it, you should get it. Try and read it, educate yourself. And please understand, these are real set opinions, not necessarily what you see on mainstream media, which really don't take you from point A to B. Here, there's intention to take you in a straight line with the position that a stand is being taken. So that way, you know exactly where you are. I'll be bringing up the newspaper every, every show and show, the, show all of you as we go along, get opinion and pick it up and educate yourself. Thank you very much. My name is Harry Tumbuatko. Stay with us. We've got more for you right here on GNN. Thank you very much, Rick. <coughs>
So, mm. para nakakahanap silang common thread. And, you know, in fairness naman so, kay Mr. Mansano, mm -hmm. um, matalino ho si Mr. Mansano, very articulate. Mm -hmm. At saka kilala ko na si Mr. Mansano nung bata pa po ako, nasa mm -hmm. lasal na nag si Mr. Mansano. Mm -hmm. uh, nakita ko naman na hindi siya bobo. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, in fairness po, um, he's been a member of Lakas since 2001. So, you know, sometimes we'd rather get lang from our own from our own party. At uh, least you know yung sa yung sa mga pananaw, uh, nagje-gel na kayo, you, comp you, you can complement one another already. Oh. Yung very cerebral Mr. Chodoro can be complemented by a very um, si Mr. Mansano kasi mas ano yan eh, mas 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 nasa baba. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alam mo yun, dal he, he in his profession whether he was a businessman or a, or a movie actor or kasi yung angle ng nakikita lang kay Mr. Mansano yung naging parang artista siya or entertainer siya. Sa dami ng klasing tao na nakilala na, na niya sa buhay niya, yung he brings in a different perspective mm -hmm. from uh, Mr. Chudoro. Doon nga ako nagtataka, what's your take on this? Tinutulog sa nila si Mr. Manzano del Artista. And yet, pinaliligiran nila sarili ng artista. Ayun nga, artista. hindi ko maintindihan ano? po eh. Kasi, you know, sin uh, parang pinipinta sa nila yung vice president namin na artista yan. Pero why do, why do other parties surround themselves with a bevy of artistas? Mm -hmm. I mean, to prop themselves up. Dapat they can prop themselves up even without these artistas surrounding them. Kasi ang nangyayari, parang may mga tungkod yung, yung, mm -hmm. yung standard bearer nila mm -hmm. na they're relying on these artistas. Wala pang tungkod, sulo pa lang ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko naman ako hinihit lang si Mr. Aquino. Pero, uh -huh. I mean, yung mga iba, kasi yun yung traditional na pangangampanya eh. Uh -huh. I mean, na nakailang election sa tayo na gumagamit talaga sila ng mga periphery, yung mga, mga palamuti mm -hmm. para ma-prop up ang kampanya ng bawat isa. Kaya nga, sa amin na lang, you know, uh, basta kami, kung nakita nila, hindi na po kami traditional sa 